guys, yeah, here we go with the uh, BenQ Mobius uh, EX3415R. It's a one millisecond M MPRT monitor and, uh, well, 1900 curvature. And yeah, so basically, guys, for me personally, uh, I used to have exactly the same size uh, 2129 screen from a different brand years ago, like three years ago. And uh, I didn't like it because I was having issues with it. And I thought the screen is really small. And a lot of people are telling me that I'm wrong, that the size is actually very good. And I honestly, for this review, I wanted to give it a proper tour because before I didn't have a proper rig, I didn't have a proper setup for putting the monitor and so on. And now I have a dedicated sim rig with the monitor stand and everything. And I must say, it's a huge difference. And I was wrong, honestly wrong, because the 34, when you put it in a correct distance, it looks really, really good. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a proper test, guys, because I, uh, I'm i actually surprised about myself <laughs> in this. As you can probably see, it. Uh, I wanted to put it as close as possible, and I think I could have put it like 5 to 10 centimeters more further. Uh, maybe some people can put it even closer. I don't know. And it actually like takes like a good amount of the space. So this is basically how it looks for me in a game. I would say like taking quite a lot of room overall. It's like uh, yeah, it's not bad, not bad at all. It's actually giving me like a very nice wide, wide uh, angle for racing. So yeah, I mean yeah, cool. I will say the response is very nice. It's a one millisecond screen, obviously. It has 144 hertz. Uh, the resolution is 3440 to 1440. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm not a proper reviewer, but I'm going to just give you my feelings. The colors are the most important and the response for me and obviously how I feel with the screen. And the uh, colors looks very nice. I might, uh, I'm using like a default, default settings. There's a racing mode fps mode you can turn on the hdr and so on so on it's like everything basically uh of course the screen is free sync and you can actually like really really notice the response and everything in the screen is like yeah well flawless basically i can't like for racing i can't even tell you if there is anything wrong it really feels super responsive Really, really responsive. I'm currently driving on 140 FPS. And in, even in this resolution, it feels really nice. I can't say anything negative about it. So the response, which is like super important for me. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. The colors. The colors. Uh, I would say it's a bit different from my other BenQ. I have a BenQ EX3203R. It's basically 31.5 inches, 16.9 monitor, 144 hertz, 2K resolution. It's fantastic. It's my favorite because it's gigantic. Uh, but it has a different colors than this one. This is like an IPS, uh, not like, but I think if I'm correct, this is an IPS monitor. So the colors are a bit more um, saturated, I would say. It looks good. It looks good. The only thing I would actually say like in a negative way, but it might be just my feeling, I would add a little tiny more brightness. But that's my custom settings, you know. I'm actually shocked how the good response is. Really, really feel nice. Compared to my monitor I was driving yesterday or, <laughs> and on the same track combination. And I actually feel like there's a different, uh, quite different response, like in a better way. I don't think there's a big difference in the monitors, but yeah, the technology goes forward. So nice colors, uh, nice response, good resolution. Uh, the viewing angles I was uh, testing are flawless. You can really go from the side to side. It works really, really nice. Before I turn on the game, I'm using a lot of lighting in my room, like a lot of lights for streaming and so on. So I was a bit worried if the lights will not be like reflecting on the screen, but no, they don't. <laughs> when basically when I turn on the game, I don't see any lights, so I'm happy with that because it's very important for me. The thing I like 
really a lot. It's like if you're a fan of the movies or the different type of games, basically this monitor comes with the remote control where you can, it has the speakers, really good speakers. I think it's like five watt and uh, or five watt subwoofer or stuff like that. I, I don't want to give you, I will, I will give you it on the screen. And it's quite good audio. But the principle, what I wanted to say is, if you're a fan of the movies, you have that remote. So you can basically turn on the audio on and off. And also you can turn on off the monitor so you don't have to like manually go for the buttons. I think that's like, a quite nice touch. And obviously you can change the regimes and the mods. So you can all turn on off the HDR. And I know I'm not exactly the person who uses HDR all the time, but I know a lot of people who like it for the movies and for cinematography and so on and yeah it's quite nice touch like, the remote is awesome like i like the things that make me more lazy i prefer those you know <laughs> i really like the response man i can see a lot as well as you can see like the 21 to 9 screen it's like if you cannot afford like triple screen or your gpu is not good for triple screen and so on I think the 21 to 9 monitor is just the perfect for sim racing because you have a wide angle, you have a very nice angle, you have a one single screen, so you don't have to worry about uh, well, having three times monitor in a high resolution, you know, that's basically my problem at this very moment because I wanted to upgrade to triple screen and I was like, well, with the streaming, doing videos and having nice graphics, I have to go for like 3090, you know, to be able to do that in a in free screens 2K resolution. Car on the left. Car on the left. On the left. So basically single screen is always better in this than triple. Also easier to set up. Man, I'm so surprised with the response. I am seriously thinking I have something wrong set up on my normal setup because right now I have a, such a nice response in a wheel that it's even weird. Oh. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh. Get some! Hey! <laughs> Basically, Mobius is uh, advertising this monitor as a racing monitor. It even has a racing mod in a wheel, uh, in, a, in a wheel, for the setup. And it basically gives you a little bit different colors. I don't know what is the purpose. There's like a different response. But it's nice that the racing is actually getting recognized. I'm currently driving the same car, so I'll try to do like a comparison with the screen size and so on compared to what I normally use. So I basically need to make the screen the same because I'm using 32, 31, 16.9 and this is 21, 34, 21 to 9, 34 screen. So basically in a like height, it's smaller, but wider. And uh, I would like to do like, I, I had to put the screen a bit closer to make it basically same size for me. But I like how big the screen is to the sides. You can really, really see the parts of the track, which I normally don't use, or don't see. So good, so far. So things I actually really like is the response. You know, I actually, the, the M MPRT technology with the 144 hertz. I mean, the, the, it's really smooth. I, I can really notice it's very, very nice smooth. And I'm actually considering, like, compared to what I've driven yesterday on my old setup, this is like a big difference. The nice curvature, it's like, okay. It's not too much and not too little, I would say. The resolution is beautiful. I also like that BenQ is doing like, uh, what's you call it? Like they are trying to be really nice for your eyes. You know, I have a different monitor that on the default settings is like shining like crazy in your face. And this monitor is like, I don't know, it has some filters. So it feels, it feels like calm, you know, to the eyes. Obviously, it's all about the settings and such, but I think they are using some technology as well to, to make it a bit more uh, eye-friendly, you know? Yeah, it's quite nice to have a monitor with the, with the sound system. 
you know, if you're watching movies or even playing games like easily. The audio is quite okay. Uh, maybe I can do some tests to actually show you guys. Hmm. Be back in a second. Considering it's a monitor, I would say the audio is like, okay, you know, for purposes we can use. The, the, this thing, I really like, I really, really like it. You can change the volume, you can change the, you can change the HDR and so on, you know, live when you're driving. Quite nice, I must say it's quite nice. You can change the, you can change the game modes and everything right when you want to, you know quite cool looks great right like the graphic is really awesome i really like it like i'm using like this is my first time actually using this resolution it actually looks very very nice i usually drive in a 2k and it's like i don't know is it 4k I don't, i'm not sure entirely i'm very lost in this one more thing basically i wanted to say is like um, the colors when i look at the replay right now they are actually looking very good like uh, the colors are really like it looks perfect like with the resolution and everything just when you're looking at this it really looks nice really really looks nice and the screen is massive when you have it closer I like it I like it. at this moment i was thinking how to replace my old monitor you can clearly see that i'm stuck thank you for watching my video make sure to leave a like and subscribe